Hi, Plane Trains and Autos here. I just want to talk about the real simple basics of computers and what I commonly see with people with computers and how to avoid it. My, my first thing I want to say is people don't really understand computers because they, they just do the basic things like internet and their email or their, their you know sims or whatever games they might do on their computer. But how many people have actually opened their computer, looked up, and understand what each part is? That you have a motherboard, you have a power supply, you have CD drives, you have hard drives, you have a processor, you have a heat sink, you you have generally fans to exhaust that all out. I mean, open. I've opened people's computers and there's just dust bunnies in there. I mean, it doesn't hurt to open your computer every like six months and just vacuum it out. That right there keeps everything cooler and it, and it will make your computer last longer. I've had my computer, my Dimension E510, look it up, Dimension E510, Dell. I've had that since Windows XP Media Center Edition and I've had that when I don't even know, six, seven years, five, six, seven years. It's came with me through Windows XP, Windows Vista, and now running Windows 7. And I've never had a problem. I keep right up. I mean, as soon as my Trend Micro, I see, because I run Trend Micro. I've been a Trend Micro person since I started with this computer, and I just stick stuck with it. I keep right up on that. As soon as I see the expiration date, and you know what? You know what? This is how you set yourself. So that way you don't worry about never having internet protection. It started, it, it went out. So what I do is, I ask for it for Christmas. So I ask for it for Christmas. I usually install it. This, I installed it December, the day after Christmas, December 26th. So every year, my one, I go by one year subscription. Every year I ask for it for Christmas, I get it December 25th. December 26th is when the old year runs out. I install the new year. So it's just an ongoing cycle. Each year I'll ask for a Trend Micro 2011, get the brand new disc, get all the new features, all new program. Bam, install that. Now I'll never have to worry about getting that because I, I get it for Christmas every year. It's something I do every year. I don't have to worry about it. The second thing that I see a lot with computers is people don't install their Windows updates. They aren't just there for their looks. When the little pop-up comes up and says download and install your updates, do it. They're there for a reason. They're giving you mass, half of it, if you look, will say security update KB, then a number. That is something that Microsoft realized people can bypass to get into your system. If you install that, you're also helping protect your computer against viruses and malware or anything else, spyware, anti-spyware, not anti-spyware, spyware, anything that would be coming on your computer. They're there. Not only that, don't just click there. You know, ever see the thing that says optional? Go to that. Go to custom install for Windows XP. See what they have for optional. You're going to get drivers and stuff to help your computer, help your products. CD drives, hard drives, video uh, video cards run better if you install them. The optional updates are also there for your benefit too. Yes, you don't have to install them. You can run the same drivers, but you know what? I suggest running the most current update. It solves little bugs you never know when some little thing that you might not even worry about doesn't work because of the driver. The third thing that I see a lot is people don't want to try a little bit with their, their computers. They, they get like this problem or something. And they send it automatically to send it to a computer comp computer fix place, Geek Squad or something, and, and pay a lot of money to have their computer looked over. When if you just kept up on it with your virus protection, your updates, and, and you Windows defragged it, your registry cleaned it, you you install. You know what? You want to worry about installing drivers? Download Driver Scanner or some type of thing that automatically checks your drivers to keep them up to date. If you kept all that, I bet you you wouldn't have to bring your computer in. I, I officially do not have to bring my computer into Geek Squad or Fire Dog or anything. Fire Dog, yeah, like they're around anymore. Or anything like that anymore because I officially can fix all of my problems so far. Yeah, there might be a massive catastrophe that I might not be able to handle. But I can handle my basic, oh, this doesn't work. Let me try to see if I can install the drivers, or update the drivers, or roll back the drivers. Just take a little bit of time, a little bit of time, Google search. You get an error, Google search it. I'm sure there's a there's a forum out there that can tell you what the problem may be. Another thing that I see with computers is people set up their computers once when they get up and leave them there, and they don't touch them. Every like, hit, like twice a year, pull your computer out, open the case, and vacuum vacuum on front of the fans behind the fans I mean don't jam the thing into your motherboard not good 
don't touch any of the green things the bottom of your case the fins anything that you can actually vacuum vacuum I mean you keep the things cooler they're gonna last longer another thing that I, I also see with a lot of people is oh I'm gonna leave my computer on 24 7 because it takes so long to turn on okay first of all I don't suggest doing that because you're you're running all the components all the time to can keep the computer on and that's gonna burn stuff out like power supplies I've seen power supplies be burnt out because of that reason here is my suggestions for that the most absolute laziest way to do it and, and I suggest doing this if you don't feel like doing anything else put your computer on standby or sleep it's gonna be there it's not gonna take a long time you just turn the power button on and you bring it yourself back you're not gonna be running the stuff the fans the power supply but the, the ideal thing would be do is get a startup delayer or get to remove the startup to start programs there's programs out there that do this there you can do it yourself Google search uh, Google search is very very helpful and like myself and I don't know on all bios this gets a little bit more involved the bios if you're not like familiar and, and I don't suggest going in there unless you have a clear idea of what you're doing but I have my computer set to turn on at 2 every day set it for 2 by the time I get home and off the bus computers up and running you leave one username no password bam right there and then I have it set to go on standby every like 15 20 minutes so all I do is I click the power button on bam right there ready to go and I shut it down every night and I don't have to worry about it that works that works great for me well that's about everything I can think of for computers I'm sure there's gonna be when I end this video I'm gonna think of something that's very very key but that's basically all the stuff if you just did that generic stuff your computer would outlast and you wouldn't have to go buy go out and buy a new one you don't necessarily have to go out and buy a new computer just because it's not running fast or something just look up disk defragment startup delay stuff like that and you can keep your computer for a very long time I plan on keeping this my Dell Dimension E510 for a lot longer I mean I put some money into it, but that's only to better it. Not that I could, I could have kept it just how it was. But that's basically everything. If you could just stay and type your computers and don't let them, like, don't let them go get too far in the hole. Don't, don't let them get too far in the hole because what basically I've seen it. They get too far in the hole and people just give up and they go out and buy a new computer. No sense. No, why waste the money? Just spend the extra, spend that extra 30 bucks a, a year. Or 40 bucks a month a year for your virus protection and that's gonna and that that right there is cheaper than having to buy a new computer yeah you can buy a cheap computer every once in a while but why not just buy put some money into a good computer get a good computer with good parts spend the money to keep it up I mean you can't you can't just drive your car around without putting oil changes in it same thing with the computer you can't just let it go you, you got to maintain it just do that, vacuum it out, stay on top of your computer, and your computer will last you a long time, and you would have no, you'll have no worries. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, do whatever you want, check my channel out, whatever you want to do with it. I'm here. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.